In some of my past videos, I've looked at mounting the popular and inexpensive 15.6 inch touchscreen monitors on top of a honeycomb yoke to serve several possible functions. First, while using a software like Air Manager to present a panel, it provides a cockpit that has touch control and can use an obster as an additional input device for mouse and keyboard free simming. Second, it can display popped out navigation displays from the simulator and undocked windows in a handy position while simming. Finally, for those who only fly in VR, it provides a conveniently located and small monitor to run the computer and simulator when not in VR. In my earlier do-it-yourself trials, I encouraged others to use a Prechen monitor that I had found. But recently, when I got involved with John at Stay Level Avionics, he built a bracket based on a different monitor, which we thought was better, but had the mounting holes in a different location. The mounting holes on this new bracket were not located centered, but high on the back of the bracket. I felt kind of bad. Not only did I own one of these monitors, but several people I had recommended these to had also bought them, and now they couldn't use this great new bracket. Well, the good news is John at Stay Level Avionics found a solution that was as simple as adding four new holes to the existing design. Now any monitor that has centered holes on the back in the 15.6 inch format should probably work. But in this video, I'm going to explain how you can measure uh, your monitor to determine if it's compatible with this bracket. The first thing you need to do is flip your monitor over on a flat surface. Make sure you have it top side up. I placed the knobster here just for a reference. Of course, it would be aiming the other way since we're looking from behind. First, your monitor needs a flat back, especially where the screw holes attach it to the bracket. So there are no protrusion. Next, your monitor needs the 75 millimeter mounting holes that are threaded so they can be bolted to the bracket. The monitor should also have all the controls and access ports located on the sides of the monitor where they're readily accessible when mounted. Another consideration is to make sure that the knobster is not going to interfere with any of the controls or ports. The dimensions shown here show you the location of knobster relative to the upper two holes on your monitor. To make sure there's adequate room between the monitor and knobster, you need to check the dimension from the hole to the edge of the monitor on the left side and make sure that it is no more than the dimension shown here. If you're not using the knobster, then this dimension is not going to be a limitation. The last dimension you want to check is the distance from that same hole to the bottom of the monitor. Now, this monitor is overlapping slightly in the front over the edge of the honeycomb yoke. So it's really not critical. It could be a little more, but it would hang down below the level of the top surface of the honeycomb yoke. Currently, there's about a half an inch spacing between the bottom of the monitor and the top of the yoke. However, since I said it overlaps in the front, so this isn't critical, uh, it could be slightly larger. The only limitation would be that it didn't extend all the way to the shaft on the yoke. So let's take a look at the uh, yoke mounted onto the new bracket with the extended holes. This is the Prechen monitor with the center mounted uh, VISA holes in the back. And you can see it mounts very nicely on there. You can see that gap beneath uh, the level of the bracket. So where I was talking about it overhanging forward of the uh, yoke slightly. The vertical max dimension I listed will bring the monitor down flush with the bracket. Just to be clear, I'm not affiliated in any way with Stay Level Avionics, although I, I do like their products. I think they're very innovative and uh, I've had good results with everything that they've made for me. So I hope this has been useful to you. I think if you uh, if you take a look at these dimensions, you should be able to determine if any flat screen 15.6 inch touch monitor is compatible with the new uh, 
stay level avionics touch bracket. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.